Hello everyone and welcome back, Dace here. Uh, so we're gonna just get right into this, but I will just take um, yeah, a few moments just to say that the whole point of this video is to give you a bit of a walkthrough through Novice Original of Mushihime-sama. Um, I know quite a few people struggle with this game and it's definitely a worthy challenge in ways, um, but I want to put this together just for those who need a little bit of guidance, just like that extra nudge. Um, watching this guide is certainly not a free ticket for, like, it's not like you're gonna watch this and then suddenly, like, oh, sweet, I can just, like, bang it out first try. Um, it will still require your time, your energy, um, putting in the, the practice. Um, even though novice is fairly easy, you still need to learn patterns, timing, all that kind of stuff. So obviously you're going to see things that I'm doing, which you might not do, um, just because of a difference in experience and all that kind of stuff. But it's just a little bit of a stepping stone to help you if you have been struggling with this quite a bit. So anyway, we're just going to watch the replay. This is from just the other night. I just banged one out, uh, for the sake of... Um, yeah, this uh, video. So we're just going to play this one right here and go from there. And I do have some notes, so I will just be keeping track. But I'll attempt to focus on the gameplay mostly and just squeeze in like bits and pieces of info here and there. So part of the reason I am using S power is well that's just what i prefer i love the speed um i love the linear attack uh compared to the other ones um it may seem a little riskier if you're less experienced because you don't have things flying out the sides uh like uh, projectiles that is but um yeah it's going to be a bit of a challenge but it's an awesome mode to play in or uh, like weapon type so as you can see with the big guy that I just destroyed like a few moments ago and a number of these other enemies, a lot of the time you don't need to be moving at all. Um, if we have like another example, which I'm sure we do, uh, like sometimes like that, like you don't need to go flying all over the place. Like those attacks go right to the side and then boom, you're just sitting in the middle completely safe. So more often than not, especially on the easy modes anyway, um, less movement is better here's another example it's like i don't i you don't need to move period and he's toast um so yeah pretty pretty straightforward stuff it can seem like a lot is coming at you but i feel like it's really important to just take the time to observe what's actually happening and most of the time it's just like tap once to the the right or left to dodge something and that's it so anyway, first boss, just tap dodge, tap dodge. Just like small movements. It's gonna, like, depending on your skill level, it may seem intimidating, it may seem um, <clears throat> like too fast, but the more you play, the better you'll get with this. So nothing crazy, and boom, the first boss is done already. Okay, so for stage two, it's kind of another, I don't want to say cakewalk, like it is for me and like anyone who has like their like higher difficulty clears and all that kind of stuff this is certainly a cakewalk but like they're it, like it's still at the same time it's an easy level um like those guys do next to nothing threatening and it's more or less just staying on top of the trees like taking those out quick and enemies like that but there's on novice there's like always a safe gap in between pretty much everything so as long as you're just kind of like zipping around clearing things as quickly as you can you won't really have <clears throat> excuse me you won't really have much of an issue so for this boss this halfway boss again it's just small adjustments um 
like really nothing. You don't need to be flailing around and he's almost toast. And then just to the side, back and forth. Now keep in mind, my way is not the only way. Like sometimes I even do it different ways from run to run. So just because you see me doing it this way doesn't mean you need to copy that. Like it's whatever is going to be comfortable for you. This is literally just essentially like suggestions. So I take out those dudes on the left before I come to this guy. Uh, just because, yeah, that's what I do. But obviously I'm using um, Trace right now. So I use my focus shot to line up all of my lines of firepower with the enemy because the more lines of firepower on the enemy the more damage is being dealt and the faster they come uh, they go down and we were at the second boss already So for this guy, I usually take off all six of his legs to start and then just zip to the other side while dodging some of these things. And just honestly take time to learn the attacks. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. Oh, I was letting the controller sit too long. And then he's going to do that. So again, like you're going to be hearing a lot of me just saying like small movements because honestly, that's what this mode kind of like lets you get away with because of how sparse the attacks are. Now obviously it does heat up quite a bit like stage 3, 4, and 5. Um, but for the most part, it's it's not as crazy as you're you're thinking. And honestly, if you can get past stage 3, you're pretty much good. So for this part, it's just more or less stay in the middle for those big moth dudes. And just go back and forth. Sometimes if you need to creep to one side instead of going back and forth in the middle, then so be it. But you more or less just want to be watching for the string of shots that they fire straight at you. And then this just tap dodge to the side and boom, that's done. Really simple stuff. So we have these and insects coming out you can just kind of go back and forth and then you always know when those things are going to shoot because they open up so if you're just looking up ahead you can kind of start learning the timing just go back and forth it's nothing crazy and then when they're gone like nothing else threatening is happening right now you just polish off those two upper pieces and then get ready for two more of these moth or three actually and then if you're over here quickly enough, you can sometimes kill him before he even launches that fast attack. If not, it's, again, just a small movement to the side to avoid. So one thing I do want to say is, and I'm going to probably be touching on this in a future episode, uh, tying into the whole like shmup survival guide, which, depending on when this video comes out, you may not even have seen that yet because it's not up yet but anyway um one thing that's very important is to learn what will give you a bullet cancel so you know how or you you just saw how like some of those bullets vanished because i took out one of the big chunks so if you're learning what you can destroy to cancel things out you know how to better prioritize what you're focusing on so obviously both of these huge sections, like boom, right there, bullet cancel. And when we take this one out, bullet cancel. Sometimes it's more noticeable than others, but that's yeah, just how it works anyway. And for the attack that the big piece was launching, it's again just tiny, tiny movements. And yeah, same with, same with those like worm things. You just tap to either the right side or the left side to stay in between their attacks. So what you could technically do here, since we are one away from being max bombs, you could fire a bomb here just to speed up this threatening section. And then that way, when you grab two bombs, you're f right back to the maximum bomb count. 
I, I don't think I used any here, but I easily could have afforded one and then grabbed the two and been at max and that would have helped. So for those who are unaware, there's something very important, which if you haven't been doing it, will really help your runs. And that is getting the extend here. So you do not attack the head until after all of these legs are like the side sections, all of those side sections are toast and then you destroy the head and you get the one up. <clears throat> For the longest time I was not doing that when I first started and it makes all the difference having an extra life. So anyway, again just like back and forth, wait for it and then just go back. You're really only focusing on like the chains of bullets that come flying at you because everything else is kind of just peripheral stuff you can ignore. And this, this will take some time figuring out because it is a little faster moving. But again, that's what bombs are for. Like, you have bombs to use. If you die, I think you get like three. Um, of course, if you lose a life, your bombs are pissed away. So never hesitate to use them if things get a little too frantic for you. But boom, we are done stage three. I'm going to have some water. I gotta pay closer attention to that. And just move, move the stick a little more. So yeah, stage four. So for these guys, definitely use your focus shot to just zero in all the damage on them and then just tap to the right or left to just stay in between their shots. And then just clear out tiny dudes. Always take time to learn the patterns. Again, that's another just quick to the side and you're done. <clears throat> As tempting, like, less experienced players, um, maybe I'll actually just pause for a second. Less experienced players, I feel, instinctively flail around more. Like, they see something coming, and they just react by moving. Um, it might feel against the grain, because, like, oh, you're in the run, and you want to like see how far you get, but I would encourage you to actually just watch the attacks and what they're doing. Um, especially because if something looks crazy and you prematurely use a bomb because you panic and then it actually ends up, let's say later on in life, you find out like, oh wow, if I just waited, I learned more about how the pattern actually bends and shifts and all this stuff. I could have easily just not used a bomb there. So in that sense, you're kind of avoiding the the building of a habit to use a bomb that you don't actually need to. So yeah, like I said, I would just encourage you to take some time to just watch. Even if you take a hit, like it doesn't matter. The amount of knowledge you will gain from just watching the attacks is invaluable. Those guys are super cool. It can be tricky when two of those dudes are coming up, especially on the harder difficulties. It can be like really chaotic. But again, just stay on one. And when that one is toast, go to the next one. So you can just go to the side and then go through the gaps. You can either go um, right to left or just go from one side to the other just to avoid that attack and then this is really easy you just kind of cling to the middle area and watch for the gaps but yeah if you can make it through stage three i feel like again it's going to be different for everybody but i feel like stage four is a lot easier to deal with. This part with the these long creatures can definitely be tricky when you st tackle it for the first time, but you more or less start chipping away at the big guy and then clear the tiny dudes. You want to stay on, to uh, on top of the tiny dudes, but then you just kind of chip away at their whole body. If you... Um, 
you can cross over sections of their body that you've already taken out without getting hurt, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and if you take out their tail, you get a bullet cancel like you just saw there. So that's something to intentionally use to your advantage instead of thinking you have to like yeah do it another way like again you can do it however you want and that's probably going to pan out depending on what your skill level is but I'm just saying like yeah use as much of the knowledge you can uh, to your advantage because usually new players will just intentionally well no not even intentionally they'll just somehow make things harder for themselves because they don't have uh the knowledge established um for just having an easier time with things and there's nothing the matter with that i'm just saying like that's just typically how it is I love these attacks. So really the only thing, like, I'm using bombs just because, like, I don't actually need to, but I'm kind of wanting to just, like, not take hits at all. So even if something is remotely threatening, I'll just treat it as though, like, okay, I'm a new player. Like, it's kind of tricky to put myself in the shoes of a new player um, because I'm just in the habit of playing at the, the level of skill and experience that I am at. So yeah, it's one of those tricky things where there's only so much I, I can do to, con to convey uh, yeah, ideas or um, attempt to like replicate, I'll use that word, um, like what a beginner might do. Yeah, so these guys, same idea, just tiny movements and then move to the side and get away and then clear tiny guys so as you'll see those plants they start with a spread but then they kind of like get concentrated so again it's like nothing threatening it looks more intimidating at first but like I said when you just take a bit of time to watch you'll actually see what's happening on the screen and then you can just start to build in your mind um, a better idea of how you want to read things and what is actually going to get your attention and what doesn't need to be dealt with right away. See those big guys? They look threatening, but it's just one tiny tap to the side. These big flowers are great because you always get a bullet cancel when you take them out, so... You can always keep the pressure on those dudes. Now, if let's say you're you're playing and you're thinking to yourself, like, oh I'm doing exactly what he's doing, but like why why am I having a much harder time than Dace? Um, there may be subtle things you're not picking up on just because you don't know the game as well as someone else does uh, I may that's the only hit I take in the whole game and I could have used like I'm pretty sure I had bombs there I could have used bombs but yeah that just clipped me um, but yeah there may be things that you're just not noticing okay so here's another one this looks like a crazy attack pattern but it's just tiny like I think it's like four or so shots in a line and then another line of four shots slightly shifted over so you're just making tiny movements to the side more or less um so yeah we'll just keep letting that roll and then he's almost toast and he's gone so yeah i i just want to finish that thought i was uh going on about um, yeah, so you may be wondering, like, oh, how is the boss dying so much faster when Dace does it, but, like, you might be struggling. Um, there just may be times where I'm dealing damage more efficiently 
than you are. And that's just going to come with practice and learning how to maximize your damage dealing and yeah, just your resource management, everything that's involved, like that's just going to come with time. So um, if you do see something like that and you're curious as to why your experience is uh, just a whole lot different or whatever the case may be, feel free to just drop something in the comments and I'll attempt to um, respond to that or see what I can figure out to help out with that. Um, but anyway, we'll continue. We're almost done the run anyway. I love the background, man. That's so cool. So yeah, there's a lot going on, but it's not actually so crazy. Like, enemies drop quick. So you just... As long as you're keeping your focus shot on the medium-sized and large enemies, like, you're usually going to be getting... A bullet cancel, which kind of keeps the pressure off. And please remember, like, this will take practice. Like, you cannot just watch this once and think that you're going to do it the first attempt. Like, some people might, and that's great. Uh, but that says to me that you actually do have some experience already. But this is more or less for people who... Um, Maybe the, maybe the whale word is, like, who play more reactively than consciously, but who want to start having a better grasp. See, these guys are nothing threatening. They're just, they're just relaxing, more or less. And it's just tiny dodges. This game is so good. I, I never get tired of Mushihime-sama. Now, because we're in Novice Original, uh, we won't have access to the true last boss. But that's fine because, yeah, when you get more experienced and you start tackling the other modes and all that kind of stuff, you can definitely hit that up. So this... Just kind of stay in between the rows of the three and stay to the side of the like long chain sh uh, chains of bullets that are sent down. And like, so yeah, um, at this point we have four plus one lives left, th uh, three bombs remaining in stock. So let's say we, like, even if you were panicking over absolutely everything in this. You can launch three bombs, you can take a hit. We have technically four lives left. Um, you have three more bombs, you can take a hit, three more bombs, like etc. So you can literally be bombing your whole way through this fight if necessary. But yeah, this stuff is so easy, like just back and forth. Just kind of like pick a side. Like obviously there are more efficient ways of uh, maneuvering by staying in the middle and constantly dealing damage. But, yeah, if that's not the case, then whatever. And at this point, I was just like, yeah, okay, we got this. Like, let's just use our bombs for something for a change. Boom. So I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the main takeaways and again like obviously everyone who's watching this or like wanting to tackle this um, is going to have a different struggle and I have no idea what those are so if you want to say like oh well yeah I'm struggling with this or I'm struggling with that let me know in the comments um, but for the most part I think like the main things to say are just put the time in learn the attacks Especially of like the medium and large sized uh, enemies because typically the tiny dudes will just have like single shots that they're firing and that's easy to just kind of sway to the other side of the screen or whatever. Or just like I said, like bullet hurting uh, small movements uh, bit by bit to one side of the screen or whatever the case is. But um, yeah, I trust this has helped on some level anyway. 
please let me know. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave off. If you would like to see more of uh, this kind of stuff, I can certainly do that. Um, or if you want to see like the same difficulty mode, but with another weapon type, I can do that too. Uh, this doesn't really take too much time to put together. And it's enjoyable too. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So um, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. And again, I trust this was beneficial and we will see you next time thanks so much everybody